Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It is going to be a best brand buys video. So it was about four months ago, I believe it was, I did a gift card guide recommendation style video and I focused on Pure and Sigma, two of like my old school favorite brands. And I was saying if you had this amount of money for a gift card and you were gonna purchase from Pure or Sigma, here are my top recommendations. And I got a lot of really good feedback on that video. A lot of people requested to see more of them and so I thought maybe I could make a series out of it and give it a cool name. So I came up with best brand buys. And in each of these videos, I'm gonna focus on two different brands, one more affordable slash drugstore and one more high end or luxury and I asked in that video you know what other brands do you want to see and the top two that I thought were requested were ColourPop and then Urban Decay so that's what today's video is going to be for this series of the affordable uh, brand that I am chatting about I'm gonna give a hundred dollars worth of recommendations and then for the high-end brand that I am talking about I'm gonna do two hundred dollars worth of recommendations that was also a suggested uh, comment in the video and had a lot of likes on it as well so I'm really excited I'm gonna try to do these maybe monthly or every other month be sure to let me know what brands you want to see for future videos but I'm excited so like I said we got ColourPop and Urban Decay so why don't we go ahead and kick this off Alrighty, I'm going to start with ColourPop and I thought it was really interesting, especially for these two videos. I have a lot of, like ColourPop is, is mostly palettes and lip colors that I'm recommending and Urban Decay is mostly like face products. So I just thought that was kind of interesting since these are, you know, the two brands that are being featured in this video. ColourPop can be a little bit challenging because they put out a lot of products but a lot of them are also limited edition. So I have a few favorites in my collection that are not currently available on the website. You know, they're already out of stock and whatnot. So you might see some products in here or you might not see some products in here like, hey, I thought that was your favorite. Yes, but you can't buy it right now. So you can't you can't spend your money on that. So I can't, I can't recommend that. So all of the products that I have are currently in stock at the time that I'm filming are currently in stock on the ColourPop website. I will have everything listed down below, of course. And for the prices, I'm going off of each brand's website, but for some of the brands I'll talk about, they are sold at other places. ColourPop has a few items available at Ulta Beauty as well. Um, but for pricing wise, I'm going to go off the brand website, but when I link below, I'll link to the brand and then wherever else they're sold, you know, Sephora, Ulta, Beautylish, etc. So jumping into it, one of the first items that I wanted to recommend from ColourPop is one of my favorite palettes. This is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and it is the Dream Street palette and you can purchase this palette for $16. When I first got this, I honestly wasn't like super sold on it to be to be honest. Um, and I, you know, I was saying that in my review videos, I had also purchased the All I See Is Magic palette at the same time that I purchased this palette and I was actually preferring that one. I, again, I would have put that palette into this video but it is no longer for sale on the ColourPop website. But the more and more that I started to play with this and the more and more YouTube tutorials I was watching, I started to get super inspired by it. And there was one week where I just continually was wearing this palette and I was loving the different looks that I was coming up with. Here is a close up of the palette. So you get these 12 different shades here. There is no mirror on it, which most ColourPop palettes don't have a mirror on it, which is kind of a bummer. Um, it does have the shade names on the back though, and I just feel like it's a really well put together palette, and I can do a lot of different looks with it. I've had a lot of fun with it. Again, I continually reach for this one, and I think it's a really good quality. A, a lot of the ColourPop, they're pressed eyeshadows. You can buy them as singles, you can buy them in palettes, you can make your own palettes. I think the quality on these eyeshadows are really, really nice. I was never really a big fan of the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows, the ones that came in the little um, I have two right here because they are in my project pan the ones that came in this packaging I just was never really a fan of those um, but once they released their pressed eyeshadows I think the quality is really really nice and that's why you're seeing me recommend so many palettes I highly recommend the ColourPop pressed single shadows okay so another one that I want to mention was a collaboration with I Love Sarah E or Karen here on YouTube and this is in Saucy so it's just a four pan palette here again you have the pressed eyeshadows in here and this one is more of like the purple toned so she did two different palettes with ColourPop the other one is called Cheeky and I would have recommended that one as well but the only one that's currently still available is Saucy right here so again 
just pointing that out. Shiki was more of like a brown neutral palette and this one is more purple. I love wearing purple on my eyes. I have green eyes and I think purple complements it really well and I really, really like this eyeshadow as well. Again, I like the quality of these and I think the quality of these were the same. I like the four shades in here. I can't do a complete full look with this palette, which I do prefer. If you like purple shadows, I think you would like this one and the cost on this one is $12. So another palette that I want to recommend is the Yes Please palette. So this one got a lot of attention when it came out. And if you can see from my palette that clearly she has been very loved on. So this was just a really fun palette, um, you know, with your oranges and your reds. But it had these pops of yellows. And I think it's a really nice palette as well. Again, there's, there's no mirror on this one. Um, but the shade names are on the back once again. This is not my favorite ColourPop eyeshadow palette. There's a few others that I would recommend first, like the All I See Is Magic, like the I Love Sari E Shiki, but those are not in stock. This one is still in stock, and this price is, let me tell you, is $16, which is not a bad price. And once again, you're getting 12 eyeshadows. And again, I don't know if I wanna say that I feel like the quality is just a little bit different on this one, I'm not sure, but the yellow, it just takes me a little bit to build up the yellow, but once I do, I really like how it comes out. Um, j just, just overall, like if I was ranking them, like so far it would be Dream Street, and then it would be Saucy, um, and then actually it would be a palette that I'm going to talk about next, and then it would be Yes Please. That's kind of like my order that I think I would put them in, but I still really like this one. I think that there's some palettes out there that are more expensive, you know, such as the ColourPop, or I'm sorry, such as the Huda Beauty, um, her Coral Obsessions is kind of similar to this one, but it is $27 versus the $16, so kind of depends on, on your preference here, but it's still a really nice palette, and it is one that I would recommend. And then the last palette that I want to chat about... I kind of went I kind of went back and forth on this one a little bit because it's one of my newer palettes to me, but it was one that I could kind of tell right off the bat that I was really going to enjoy. And it's another collaboration, this one with Makeup Shayla, and it is the Perception palette. So I recently did a ColourPop haul and try-on video, and that is where I have this palette. And I you could see in that video I was very excited for it. I felt like everything was going very smoothly, everything was blending well, the shimmers were showing up, I didn't have fallout on my face. I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. And I thought this palette was really interesting. It's definitely like a heavier palette than the other ones that I've mentioned. It has a mirror on it, which I think is fantastic. The shade names are listed right on there if that's something that's important to you. But overall, all of these shades in here, I have not used all of them yet, which is why I was kind of like, oh, should I really put this in here? But I've tried a lot of them so far. I do have it on my eyes today as well. And I've just really been liking this palette. And I think the quality is really, really good on it. Now, this palette is $23. So this is the most expensive thing that I am recommending from ColourPop in this video. And it was another reason why I was kind of hesitant. Um, but... I still think it's really good. I still think I'm really going to end up enjoying this palette. And even though it has a little bit higher of a price point, I think that you're still getting great quality out of it. Um, you're actually getting four times four is 16. Math is hard. You're getting 16 different shades in here, a great variety of shades. And a lot of these shimmers are really impressing me. Um, and I just, I, I'm really impressed with this one. So I feel, I feel okay still including it in this recommendations video. Before we move over to the lip products, I do have have a highlight that I want to recommend. Ooh, this highlight. This highlight, you guys. This is called Flexitarian, and oh my goodness, this is such a nice highlight. Now, I kind of shied away from the, they're called the Super Shock Cheek. I kind of shied away from these because obviously the packaging reminds me of those Super Shock eyeshadows, and I was like, Mm, I don't know. Those weren't my favorite, so I'm probably not going to do it. And once I got this one and tried it, I was like, oh girl, you were so wrong. You were so wrong. This is a beautiful highlight. It's $8, and this is what she looks like. I mean, you can even just tell before I even swatch it. Like, look at that highlight. That is so beautiful, but I will do a swatch here. It's that, it's the Super Shock formula, so when you dip your finger into it. It almost feels like wet, kind of moussey, kind of bouncy um, when you put your finger in there. But look at that highlight. It's so gorgeous. You can dot it on with your finger. Um, I don't have any problems using like one of my regular highlight brushes with this one. I think it still applies really nice. It's a 
beaming highlight. It has like maybe a tiny bit of glitter in it. I know that's what some people say about ColourPop highlights, but honestly, I don't really see a lot in this one, and I'm not someone who enjoys glitter highlights, so sometimes I think maybe that was another thing that was holding me back because I feel like I've kind of heard that a lot with ColourPop, but I don't really see it in this one, and whenever I put it on, it's just like, bam, girl. I can see you. I can see you over there. I can see you over there. Oh, yeah. I can see you up there. It's beautiful. I really enjoy it and it's eight dollars. Alrighty, so moving over to the lip colors. Okay, so for ColourPop, I think their lip liners are okay. Their lippy sticks, I had quite a few of them at one point. Again, they're okay. You know, they're more affordable, but to me it's like, they're okay, and I've decluttered all of them out of my collection. The Luxe lipsticks haven't been blowing me away, um, so I only have a few in my collection, and they were actually sent to me from another YouTuber. I haven't purchased any myself, but the ones that I want to recommend are the more regular lipsticks, and I have the Ultra Satin and the Ultra Matte lip colors in here. Now, the Ultra Mattes they dry down completely matte. They dry down very quickly. They're a little bit more drying, but they stay on for a very long time. The Ultra Satins are a little bit more of a comfortable formula. They do still dry like pretty darn matte. I get a little bit of transfer with them, but nothing too crazy. Again, they're very long wearing, but just not quite as much as the Ultra Matte. Personally, I prefer the Ultra Satin formula, and I've purchased more Ultra Satins than I have the Ultra Mattes, but um, again, I just wanted to throw that out between the two formulas, and these are all $6.50 each. So I have four different lip colors here that I would recommend and that are some of my favorites. So the first lip color that I really love is Strip. This one is an Ultra Satin Lip, and it is the first swatch here, so you guys can probably tell why I love it. It's just a beautiful nude. Again, I really like the Ultra Satin formula. It's probably my favorite formula from ColourPop that they offer. And then the next one that I want to recommend is one of those like old school, like classic ColourPop lip colors that everybody went crazy for a couple years ago, and this one is in Beeper. Beeper is an Ultra Matte Lip, but the color the color is so cool. It was definitely a color, like a shade that was in a couple years ago. I was trying to find this shade and they loved it so much. So it's the second one here. If you can see, it's just kind of that darker nude. It's like slightly on kind of like that grungy side that was really in for a while, but so many people were buying and wearing and raving and recommending Beeper. This is actually my second one. I bought the first one myself. I completely went through it. Beeper is just like one of those staple colors. It, it does dry down pretty dark on the lips and I tried to, like I swatched it a while ago and I was trying to let it dry down so you could see like the full swatch of it but it's also one that stays and then the next one that I want to recommend is just one of those like unique colors that I think is really cool and I'm really happy I have in my collection this one is called point zero and it was a collab with Kathleen lights as well this one ooh, it's completely worn off on my product here I think it's an ultra satin lip I believe this one is an ultra satin lip and this is the color right there. This one is a really interesting color and it's kind of hard for me to, to describe. It's kind of like, it's a cool tone color and it's almost kind of like that grayish color. It's like a little bit of gray. It's kind of beige. It has a little bit of nude in it. I mean, it's just, it's an interesting color and it's one of those that whenever I wear it in a video, people immediately know, are you wearing point zero on your lips? Like they don't even have to look at my description box to see the makeup I'm wearing. They know that it's point zero because it's a really unique color. The last one I want to recommend is one of my favorite red lipsticks, hands down. This is another one in collaboration with I Love Sarah E, and this is in Ariba. This is an ultra matte lip, and it is a beautiful, true red. There's a swatch of it right there. It is such a stunning red. It's one of those, like, it's like a true red. It's not like a pink red. It's just a popping red on the lips. It looks so nice. It makes your teeth look wider, which is fantastic. Uh, it's just a beautiful red, and again, since it's the ultra matte, it sticks around for a very long time, and definitely, I don't wear red lipsticks a ton, but when I do, I'm very often reaching for this one because it's just like one of my favorites. So those are the four lip colors that I would recommend from ColourPop, and then after that, those are all of my recommendations, and we came in at $101. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. $101? Not terrible. So those are my best brand buys from ColourPop, and why don't we go ahead and move over to Urban Decay. Alrighty, so moving over to Urban Decay, I'm going to recommend $200 worth of products for Urban Decay. Absolute favorites from Urban Decay, and this is my holy grail concealer at this time, is the Naked Skin Concealer. 
once I started trying this, I was like, how have I not tried this sooner? I love this concealer. Um, I started trying it when I was still very obsessed with the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte, and I was always recommending that one. This dethroned it immediately. I was like, no way. This one is so much better to me, and I continue to love on this concealer. It is a pricey guy. It is $29, and that is a lot for a concealer, but it truly is one of my favorites. I feel like it has a great coverage on it, yet it's still lightweight. It blends out really easily, and I'm just, this is my holy grail. If you haven't tried the Naked Skin Concealer, I highly suggest you do. Okay, another one of my absolute favorite products is a lip product from Urban Decay. I'm sure it's gonna be to no surprise if you watch my channel that I am recommending their Comfort Matte Lipsticks. Really, I, I have so many, when I first was making my list for Urban Decay, I had like four or five different lip colors on here to recommend. Truly, I mean, it's up to you, whatever lip product you gravitate towards, I would recommend the Comfort Matte Formula over and over and over again. I had to, I had to really dwindle down my Urban Decay list. When I first wrote that out, I was over $300. I was like, oh, what happened here? So I cut out a bunch of the lip products and I just, I recommend these in general. But one of my favorite shades, and if you are a nude lip, lip lover like myself, Stark Naked is a beautiful lip color. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. And I just, I love it so much. The Comfort Matte Formula is it, they do dry down matte on the lips, but they are comfortable and they're also incredibly long lasting. So just one of my favorite lip products in general across any brand and these are $18. Another one that I want to recommend. Oh yeah, you knew it was coming. This Sin Highlight. Huh. So I picked up the Sin Highlighter when I did a my, testing my subscribers favorite makeup. I had a bunch of people, you know, send me in their top favorite products in each category over on like Twitter I think it was at the time and so many people recommended the Sin Highlight and I was like what? what? I feel like I don't hear anybody talking about Sin like why, why are so many people recommending this to me and so I bought it and I tried it and I was completely sold it is such it is such a gorgeous highlight. Look at that. Come on, look at that. This highlight actually convinced me to go out and buy an Urban Decay highlight palette, which unfortunately I didn't love as much, but this highlight on its own, I still enjoy so much. These highlights run for, I'll tell you, $26. That is expensive for a highlight, but man, man, do I enjoy this guy. All right, another item that I would recommend from Urban Decay is their Beached Bronzer. I think they have two different shades of these, I wanna say. This one is in Sunkissed, um, but it's truly one of my favorite go-to bronzers. It has a nice mirror in the compact, and then this bronzer, to me, it's a little bit on the lighter side. I wear it a ton, especially in like fall, winter, early spring, when I still don't have much of a tan, because it's just a little bit on the, the lighter side for me. I just, I enjoy it so much. I still continue to wear it even when I do have a tan and I just want like a light bronze because I enjoy this one so much. I should definitely just pick up the other bronzer. I don't know why I haven't, but I highly would recommend these. And the bronzer cost $30. That's expensive. That's expensive for a bronzer, but I really like it. Of course, of course, I'm gonna recommend the Urban Decay setting sprays. These definitely are some fantastic setting sprays. In my like setting spray drawer, like if I had to rank my favorites, the MAC Fix Plus would still have to be number one. It just, it would have to be number one. But the Urban Decay sprays would come in at number two uh, because these are just, these are just so nice. So they have a bunch of different ones. This one is my chill setting spray and I really reach for this one a lot in the summer because it is more of like, it's like a cooling, hydrating makeup spray. It really helps to melt the makeup into your skin and just make everything look a, bit, a little bit more natural, especially with a bunch of powder on. Um, it just is so nice. These are expensive. The full sizes run for, why can I not read my handwriting? That's really sad. And <laughs> they run for $32, so they are pricey, but man, I don't wanna be without these in my collection. So this is a newer product to me, but once I started trying it, I was like, that's why everybody talks about this one. It is the Urban Decay, obviously, Perversion Mascara. So I feel like out of all of Urban Decay's products, like before I even got on YouTube, before I started watching beauty videos, I would hear my friends and people in real life. And when I went to Ulta, the, the employees would recommend the Perversion Mascara to me. And I was like, eh, yeah, but no, I'll stick with my Maybelline mascaras because it is more expensive. It's $24 for the full size. I have this mini here. Once I started trying it, I was like, well, how? 
why didn't I listen to my friends and those dang Ulta employees? They actually know what they're talking about. This is a phenomenal mascara. I will repurchase a full size of this or at least another mini size. Um, if you saw my latest Project Pan, I'm trying to decide if I should purchase full size mascaras or just minis since it takes me a while to get through them. But I will definitely continue to want this in my collection. It makes my lashes look so long. It gives them volume. It makes them super, super dark. I am so impressed with this mascara. If you haven't tried it yet, maybe you can get a mini of it somewhere. Um, I know I've seen it as like one of the like 100 point perks on Sephora as well. I highly suggest you try it out because man, that is a nice mascara. I also want to recommend, of course, their liners, the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. I have mentioned these in favorites videos. I think these are great liners. Now, eyeliners is one of those things where like, I don't know what you need in your collection. I don't know what colors you wear the most. So I didn't want to recommend just like one color, um, but just their liners in general, I think are fantastic. These run for $20, so they are expensive, but they are really smooth and creamy. They definitely live up to their name that they glide onto the waterline and they stay, and they stay for a very long time. So I have a bunch of shades that are favorites of mine. Um, Deep End, which did I grab out? Yeah, Deep End, this turquoise. I have worn in so many videos on my YouTube channel. You have seen it over and over again. Um, also, Heartless is a really beautiful, light, kind of metallic pink. And one shade that I've been wearing so much lately is called Stash, which is like a really cool kind of like deep green. I just think it's a really cool one, but they have so many different shades and I highly recommend these liners. So last up from Urban Decay, I do want to recommend these. I went back and forth on it a little bit. Like, do I really want to put that in there? But I do. But I do. And if you watch my lip picks where I go through all of the lipsticks I wore in my YouTube videos for the prior month, which I post almost daily, so it's a lot, you are continually seeing these lip glosses mentioned in that video. So that really shows me I actually really do enjoy these. I say a lot that I'm not a big lip gloss person. I love my liquid matte lips, but more and more I'm wearing more lip glosses and I'm continually reaching for these ones from Urban Decay. These are called their Hi-Fi Hi -Fi Shine Lip Glosses. They're $20, which are expensive. I wish they, they were a little bit more affordable, but man, they are really nice. The shade that I grabbed out and the shade that I really enjoy is Back Talk. I like this one because I can put it over a lipstick and I think that it's really beautiful, but also this one is super pigmented and I feel like I can wear it by itself as well and I have worn it by itself. Look at that, look at that lip gloss, that's beautiful. They have the Back Talk lipstick, which had definitely made it into like my first Urban Decay list that I made. That was on there because it looks just like this, but in a regular lipstick form. But the lip gloss is also so nice. These are not sticky, uh, they apply so well, they have a nice scent to them, kind of like a mint scent to them. These are really, really nice. I just think that they're pricey, but I would recommend them. And if you are a lip gloss person and you buy a ton of glosses and you wear them so much, I would definitely recommend checking out the ones from Urban Decay and Back Talk is probably one of my favorites. But other than that, that's everything from Urban Decay. Our total came in at $1.99, so not bad. We went a dollar over on ColourPop, a dollar under on Urban Decay. I feel like that balances out pretty well. Uh, but that is going to wrap it up for today's best brand buys. Okay, so that is everything for my best brands buys video going over ColourPop and also Urban Decay. Of course, I'll have everything linked down below. Let me know what you thought of my recommendations in here. What do you absolutely agree with or what are some products that you would recommend from each brand as well? Let us know, of course, in the comments. I will be on the hunt for new items as well, of course, based on your recommendations. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're excited that I want to turn it into a series. Let me know the two brands that you want to see next for the next episode of this series. But other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.